Hello to my Taurus. I am talking to you wherever Taurus is in your birth chart, not just your sun sign. So please check your birth chart. So that means if Taurus is your moon, rising, Venus, in any of your 12 houses, I am talking to you. We are gearing up for a full moon in Pisces. Okay? Pisces, 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 right? Right now, the moon is in Aquarius. The overarching theme, we have a, it's a gibbous moon. The overarching theme is um, what is stopping you from living your ideal life? What is stopping you from living your ideal life? Not who, but what. What in you is stopping you from living your ideal life? Because it's never a who, is what in you is stopping you from living your ideal life? Pisces is the, uh, Pisces is the I believe sign. Um, what in your belief system is stopping you from living your ideal life, right? That's right. That's right. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. One of Pisces ruling planets, Neptune, is retrograde right now. So you can read all about it. Extra, extra, read all about it. You can read all about Neptune. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what's in the cards. First card out of the deck. All right, so somebody will be moving. Somebody will be moving. Somebody will be moving. All right, here we have the three of pentacles here. So somebody will be getting a leadership position. A decision has already been made. Some kind of a partnership in business and or in love is coming across your path. And so here we have the high priestess energy here. And so... It's already been predicted. So this is where you want to start believing in something. So here we have the three of um, swords here. So you want to leave behind past disappointments. Somebody needs to come out of that. This is where um, this is where high priestess energy is going to have to really come into play. So if a person is, you know, I don't believe things until I physically see it. You've already, you have already spoken defeat into existence. You know, I don't believe it until I see it. So a source is saying, you know, you're going to have to believe something. You're going to have to start believing in, you're going to have to start believing in your, your own gifts, your high priestess gifts, high priest, high priestess gifts. So I see somebody moving. So I see you traveling light. I see you moving into a new fate, a new phase of your life. Um, some kind of partnership in business and or in love. Here we have the 10 of wands. So congratulations to you. So Increase your prayer and meditation life. See it happening for you. So congratulations to you. Congratulations. Congratulations again. Talking to you wherever Taurus is in your birth chart. I see somebody in a leadership position. This is about asserting yourselves. Um, and so make a decision to start believing in yourselves. Start making a decision to believe in yourselves. What is stopping you, right? You're going to feel like you have a whole new lease on life. Somebody could be signing a new lease. But here we have page of pentacles, right? Page of pentacles. So you possibly you and somebody. So it's harvest time. That's right. So somebody is starting a new legacy here. Whole new legacy is starting. So you and somebody, right? So take the blindfolds off. Take the blindfolds off so you don't feel like you're blindsided. Um, and um, you know that you, you don't you don't feel like you're blindsided, right? Here we have right. Here's the nine of swords. So you don't feel like you're blindsided. You don't feel like there's something is a nightmare for you. Um, you know that you're not blindsided by something, right? And so here's a play, paying uh, your strength. You know, strength. So someone's praying your strength, right? So that you don't feel like you're in a wilderness situation, right? That you don't feel like you're in a wilderness situation out there. Here we have the King of Cups here. So you can be cool, calm, and collected. Yep. Somebody could be dealing with a male master manipulator and not know it. Somebody could be dealing with a master, a male master manipulator and not know it yet. So, again, you may not believe it until you see it. You may have been that like, something could be right up under your nose, but again... Somebody may not believe it until they see it. You may you may already know it, but you may not, like I said before. They may have been causing nightmares in your life, but you may not have wanted to notice it. But again, 
So congratulations in advance. Somebody's getting promoted. It's a harvest time for you. I see you. Um, some new seeds are being planted. I see harvest growing. I see your money growing. Things happening for you. It's going for like a whole new lease on life. So somebody could be planning, a, uh, you know, like I said, signing a lease. You know, I see you and somebody moving. But I do see... Um, I do see you're dealing with a master. Somebody has a master manipulator right up under their nose and can't even see it. Yeah. So you got some good news coming across your path. But there's going to be somebody that you, you, you're you not going to go back to, even if you saw a pig fly. Once something is exposed with their emotional manipulation, something for you, because you, remember, we're coming up. It's going to be so emotionally overwhelming for you. It's a younger person. Um, it's going to be so emotionally manipulating for you. It's just going like it's, it's you're going to start seeing it's been causing you nightmares. So for somebody, it's going to be like um, it's, it's either. So if you're a younger person, they're older than you are. If you're an older person, they're younger. So it's like both of y'all. It's like both of y'all are going to see each other almost the same. So unfortunately, so it could be. Um, it's like both of y'all are kind of have been sort of like in survival mode in a sense. Kind of like both you and somebody has been in a survival mode in a sense. Um, both of y'all kind of had that same mindset. You don't believe it until you see it kind of situation, right? Um, but, uh, but it's going to bring out the leader in both of you because it's two of both of y'all have on blindfolds. Both of y'all are leaving behind disappointments. Both of y'all are waking up from nightmares, whoever it is. It's like you and a family member, you and a loved one. Both of y'all are waking up from nightmares. Both of y'all are waking up. Both of y'all are, you know, celebrating. Both of y'all are moving. But both of y'all had this, you know, it's like, so, um, anyway, both of y'all are hardworking people. Um, so, and this should be interesting. Here we have the Ace of Pentacles here. So, it's like this new. It's a you. You're. It's a new partnership. Both of you are hardworking people, but it's it's going some kind of a new agreement that's happening here. It's a it's a new agreement that's happening here, right? Tower moment. The tower moment. Tower moment happening for you and somebody, right? Here we have the Queen of Swords here. Both of you are going to be sitting on your throne, carefully vetting your thoughts. You know, from now on. Um, and then also, and then freeing yourselves, you know, feeling free and feeling liberated, possibly from an Aries, possibly from an Aries, because that's the, uh, Cardinals, uh, possibly from that spirit of just being impulsive, you know, both of y'all are going to feel like y'all are free from that spirit of just being impulsive, right? Jumping to conclusions about things, um, that kind of thing. It's something has added, something has caused you and somebody to be on the light side of emperor energy. So that's the good thing. It's all good because it's all source. What the enemy meant for evil, source is going to turn it around for your good to get you focused on your purpose. Right? So it's going to get you focused on your purpose. It's going to get you focused on your purpose. Yeah, it's going to get you focused on your purpose. Lover's card is coming out again. So a partnership, you know, is happening again. So yeah, partnership is happening again here. Queen of Pentacles, so adjust your crown. So, um, so you and somebody are going to learn how to leave people outside of your vault door. Like, you're going to start realizing, you know, talking trash about people. No more talking trash about people and just how damaging that is, you know. And the judgment is going to go away. Judgment of people. All of that stuff is going to go out the window. All of that's going to go out the window. And just how damaging that is. All of that is going to go out the window. Yep. Yeah. Because that's going to break the, um, that is going to break a demonic tie. 
and just how, like I said, that's where the tower moment is going to come from. So you never know how source is going to break generational. None of us know how source is going to break generational cycles, chains, and curses. But that's why the tower card is coming out. And then you have the judgment card right here. Something has just been really, really... Um, uh, judgment card connects us with Pluto. Pluto is currently retrograde. None of us really know how source is going to expose our temptations, which is the devil. Like the devil would be like temptations, like restrictions. Um, um, the devil um, symbolizes like uh, enslaved to some kind of obsessions, restrictions, lust. Nobody ever knows how source is going to expose like us to us like nobody ever knows how source exposes like forces us to look in the mirror at ourselves right nobody ever knows how source is going to do that to us and and so i feel like somebody being in a leadership position and moving is going to start thriving you know wherever it is that you're moving on to you may have had judgment about certain things about being in a particular place, but in that place where source is moving you to, you're going to actually start thriving. And then you're going to say, oh, I used to have judgment about certain things based on what I heard. And I made a false judgment about other people who lived in a certain place, but I'm actually thriving here. Like I, I, I was dead wrong about such and such, right? So your whole mindset is going about to change about, you know, particular, because that's right about a particular location. Because for you, you're going to finally feel free of some free of judgment, free of being judged, judging other people. That generational cycle chain and curse is going to break. But because it was such a, this right here, an immature, like a, like the page energy is youthful energy, but on in reverse, it's an immature way of thinking. It's called, it's called judgment causes so much damage to people, like harshly judging people causes so much damage, assuming that people live like this. And, and you know, this right here spreads a lot of rumors and damage about people. Oh, this person, they live in dirty conditions. They live in this. Talking about where people live, talks, I mean, that causes so much stuff. So it's the same, like causes so many nightmares to people start so many fires. Page of Wands, it's so much roasting. This fight, fight, Page of Wands is about roasting and also about feeling free. But in reverse, Page of Wands and Page of Energy is very, very, I mean, Page of uh, Cups is very um, damaging, right? The assumption is like, okay, I can't, I can't, I don't believe it unless I see it myself. Source is about to make somebody a believer, but because you haven't seen it, you don't believe it yet. But source is about to make you a believer. But by the time you see it, because somebody else is already where you are. And then by the time you see it and you start thriving yourself, because that's what source is going to make you start thriving. That's when it's going to hit you. Oh, Wow. That's what's going to make somebody sign a new agreement with source and not the devil. The devil wants you to sign an agreement with fear, doubt, uncertainty. That's when somebody's going to say, oh my God, like I had no idea. That's what's going to cause you to sign a new agreement with the high priestess in you. Like, okay, I, I'm starting to believe in myself. Stuff is starting to take off. I'm starting to live a different kind of life. Okay, this is where it is. I should have been here a long time ago. I should have been believing in myself a long time ago. Right. But again, that's why I always tell people judging other people is very, very damaging. You don't know what kind of trauma it causes people. You don't know what stuff people have gone through, what kind of nightmare it causes people on both ends, both, you know, both sides. So that's what source has been trying to tell people is like what kind of mind games, you know, it causes. So source is, going, source is breaking everybody out of these generational curses, cycles and chains. So, yeah, like I said, some kind of partnership in business and or in love is coming across your path. So congratulations on that. I see somebody in a leadership position, but that is what that's what's going to bring you into a leadership position because, again, um, but whoever it was that somebody could have been talking about, um, let's see, let's see, yeah. Somebody, somebody looks like somebody has been manipulating you an entire time about something. Somebody has been manipulating you an entire time about something. And, um, yeah, here we have the high priest. Yeah. 
It could be a person who has Taurus in their card. It could be another Taurus. Somehow it could be a Capricorn. Because they know exactly how you think. They know exactly how you think. And both, look, that's what I said before. Both of y'all have on blindfolds. <laughs> Neither one of y'all can see how the other one think. Y'all just, like I said. So, but anyway. Um, let's see what else we got going on. But it's rooted in a religious belief, like you don't believe it unless you see something, right? Belief system. It's rooted in some kind of religious belief system, like then we have the King of Cups here. Mm -hmm. Yep, here we have the Princess of Cups. We have the Justice card. And we have the nine of pentacles. Yeah. And we have the five of wands. And the two of wands. And the queen of swords. So the outcome of all of this is like whatever, whatever the outcome was. Whoever, you know, you and somebody, you know, kind of would be feeding off of each other's energy that couldn't really see the energy you all were feeding off of. Whoever was in the middle of all of this, like there's a there's a spirit of an Aries that caused somebody to jump to conclusions. That could be somebody's moon sign. It could be somewhere in somebody's birth chart that has this the spirit of like impulsiveness just jumping to the conclusions or maybe you were influenced by an Aries you could be on the cusp of Aries somewhere in your birth chart um, on the light side of Aries if you have it in your birth chart it can work very well in a leadership position because they're the first sign in the zodiac and they spring forward right so if you add structure and authority to it it can work very well in a leadership position but if you don't know, if it's if you're on the dark side of Aries, it could be your way or the highway mixed with that bull as a Taurus being ruled by Venus. It can come across as vain and vengeful and green with envy and a disruptor of peace. That's the dark side of Taurus, right? And so Source is saying, Source has been trying to get you to use the light side, to see the light side of your ruling planet, Venus, which is a, creating a life for yourself, a life that you love. Uh, a life that's, that you're pleased with, art, music, aesthetics. So Source is going to move somebody to a place where there's tons of art, music, aesthetics, a place that you actually love where you're going to really thrive and be in a leadership position where, which you, where you should have always been, Taurus. That's what Source is moving somebody to. And so then it's going to start making sense. Oh, oh my God, I should have believed in myself a long time ago. I should have believed in my love selections. I should have believed in my, my business choices. I should have believed in myself a long time ago. But so you could have had a dark Aries in your life your whole time, a dark energy in your life the whole time. And that was basically like it's their way or the highway, ruining your life. You're ruining your life decisions, ruining stuff for you that you just didn't, you couldn't see the whole time. And so now, like I said, it could have ruined a whole lot of relationships for you in your life where you just didn't, you just couldn't see it. So, and so for whoever's life that, you know, could have been affected by it in some way, shape, form, or fashion, like I said, the time is relative. You learn whatever lesson you learn. Other people learn whatever lesson they learn. Everybody moving on with their life. You move on with yours. Like I said, source... You learn whatever lesson, now you know how to, you'll be able to know how to use, it, um, land on the light side of Aries, so that way, light side of Aries in your birth chart makes you a better leader, work hard, you know, living a life that you are pleased with and life that you love. Um, sometimes you need to see other people go ahead of you to see, okay, they, they thriving in whatever life they live in for you to see, oh, okay, I can do it too, I can do that too. And you thriving in whatever field you're thriving in, I could do that too, right? And then everybody move on to wherever they moving on to. But yeah, it's a it's a lot going on in your cards. But um, you and somebody are going to see that you all are very much alike. It's a family member, it's a blood relative. Y'all, it's a younger person. Y'all are, are like 
twins actually but just different ages y'all are very y'all have the same spirit y'all are very much alike but both of y'all had on just like uh y'all had on blindfolds y'all just couldn't see it y'all just could not see it so that's going to be the good news and both of y'all are going to learn no more judging no more y'all going to stop judging other people y'all going to be rise above other judgment and, and things are going to start thriving and flourishing and flowing so yep like i said all good because it's all source so it could be somebody's child you know or you could be the parent whoever it is but whoever the third party or it could be your kids or it could whoever it could be other party or whatever you know, they moved on with their life. So you move, you're going to move on with yours. But yeah, the judgment about this right here can be very damaging. It can be very, very damaging to people. Very damaging. But um, yeah, when people assume certain things and don't know, and then find out it's something, the polar opposite. People are like, oh my God, I had no idea this. I had no idea that. So yeah, document your dreams day and night. It's time for somebody to start dating again. Somebody wants to call you, but they haven't changed. I don't know who want to, who wants. I don't know who wants to call you, but your ancestors have a message. Check your request list again. Journal your journey. Ask source for clarity. It's time for you to do the mirror work. Really, um, you inspired. Somebody has a Leo somewhere going on here. Leo somewhere. Somebody has Libra in their birth chart. I don't know, but somebody they are succubus. Um, anyway, um, you may inspire some, uh, somebody to heal. A succubus is a female sex demon. Somebody is Leo and has Libra somewhere. But anyway, um, the best is yet to come. You deserve the best. Um, a, a Capricorn could be a, a incubus, which is a male sex demon. An Aries could be an incubus, which is a male sex demon. Um, a, um, a Taurus could be a male sex demon. Gemini could be, uh, Incubus or succubus, because you see that twice, which is a male sex demon, uh, could be a, a female sex demon. But anyway, so here we have create the change that you want, get focused, um, keep on moving forward, let go, let God. Your ancestors are very proud of you. Um, it's time to leave some energy behind, but don't get too far ahead of some things. And um, and so you have the gift of precognition. Your laughter is medicine. It's just a lot of stuff going on. And so that's just how life happens. You know, sources saying a lot of people, are, everybody is, well, not just a lot of people, but everybody is breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. And so, but somebody had to break that. A source sends everybody across our path for a reason. And so some a source had to break somebody out of that just kind of sort of being stubborn and that's how source had to creatively break somebody out of stubbornness okay source had to hit your money <laughs> source had to come to come at your money like you want to grow your money i'm gonna have to put somebody in your life that you either once loved or felt like this was your twin flame and it's just been hard for you to you know they had to affect your heart in a way that you were just like, okay, I don't know why my head and heart are so at war with each other when it comes to somebody. You know, I'm not sure what this is. Right? But source had to get you out of a comfort zone. Source had to get you out of a comfort zone. And so where wherever source is getting you out of a comfort zone too is exactly where source was trying to plant you to. That's what Source has been trying to plant somebody somewhere to get you out of a comfort zone away from whoever kept you stuck somewhere. So however, you could be moving somewhere because you're mad. You could be frustrated. You could be like, okay, I hate my job. I'm mad. I got to get somebody back. I got to. But when you get to that place, you're going to be like, oh, I was supposed to always be here. Because that's how it happens. channeling 25 mm -hmm. source had to get somebody mad enough to move like get some movement put some steam under your hooves 
Like, source had to get somebody mad enough for you to get something moving, like those bull hooves. Source had to get you, because otherwise you'd have been just, just grazing. Like, just, this this stuck, just standing still, okay? Like, you know what I'm saying? You stuck in a job, okay? I'm just going to stay on a job. I'm just going to stay here. Somebody had to get you mad enough to say, okay, forget this. I'm going to apply for a job. These people, they never going to promote me. So I said, okay, well, then I, I've been trying to get you to move for the longest time. Like, what you waiting for somebody to come in there and just, like, physically push you on a job? Like, what you waiting on? But in this case, somebody's head and heart were at war with each other about something else. Right, and so then you got fire here. So something either somebody was threatened to get fired, or somebody somebody was fired up, mad about something where your heart was at war. Somebody said something, you just just flaming mad about something. Some emotions were involved. Something. So, yeah. So source is saying it's time to get it together. It's time to stop waiting until you just so freaking mad. But yeah, so um, it's just a lot going on in your cards here. Resource has been trying to put somebody in a leadership position, has been trying to, you know, get you to plant some seeds, you know, you know, do something different, like <laughs> balance it out, balancing things out. So that is what I have for you. I will see you all in the next reading. Um, I'll see you all in the next reading. All right.